Today is World Suicide Prevention Day. It's likely that you or, or somebody that you know has had a touch with suicide or has known someone who has died from suicide. And so today we want to talk about that. As a pastor, I often go and visit many houses and, and on many of them, they might have a sticker on the fridge or a, uh, something on the wall that says, every day is a gift from God. And certainly we want to believe that and most people believe that, but we have to recognize that for some among us, every day doesn't feel like a gift. As a matter of fact, every day may seem like a burden. And so Kathy Stapleton is here with me, but before she shares some of her story, I want to put a number up on the screen. If you or a loved one, or if you know somebody who has been struggling with suicidal thoughts, please call this number. There are people on the end of that line that desperately want to talk to you. There will be no judgment. So please, if you are struggling or a loved one is struggling, please pick up the line and call this number. Now, again, like I said, I'm here with Kathy Stapleton, who has had some connections with suicide as well. And so I just wonder if you could share a little bit about yourself and, and your story. Uh, I'm been a lifelong member here at St. James. And uh, five years ago this past Monday, uh, my husband, who also at the time was battling cancer, we got a phone call that nobody would like to receive and uh, that our youngest grandson um, had died and we found out from suicide. They live in Georgia, so we packed our things and took off. Um, the house was crowded with all the support they had, but those are the things that you can't bring him back. And so then you start focusing on who can give us this hope, and it is Jesus. And not to, to be like I'm saying anything that nobody else would say, but I recently heard something that says, I don't base my faith on results. I base my faith on my personal relationship. And I really do think that if it had not been how I was brought up and my connection with St. James and my husband's, um, it would have been so much harder to get through. I also know that my children have been very involved in the outpouring of people that came to them. But the other thing is I want people to know is, as the physician that told my daughter, his pediatrician, we would have not known anything because Eli was so smart that he would have kept things like this hidden from him, from all of us, and there was no signs. Sometimes you see signs and sometimes you don't. So you just want to always be aware of what they're seeing, they're doing, because I do think things that they view on TV makes a difference. But I also worry that there's children nowadays that have sad situations at home. And when people will say things like they're in a better place, I worried about copycats, and that's something we don't want to happen. We don't want people that are just grasping for a better place to be to go on and um, die from suicide. But I thank you for this opportunity. Um, it's ironic that Eli passed away on uh, the 6th of September. That year, on the day he was buried, was World Suicide Day. So it kind of comes to home, but like I said, if it wasn't for my church family and my my trust in the good Lord. Well, and Kathy, we are so sorry for your loss. We know when we lose a loved one, it's not something you get over. It's something that by the grace of God that, that you get through. And so know that, that we continue to hold you in prayer today. And, uh, and once again, um, if you are struggling or you know somebody that's struggling, there is hope. Uh, there is hope found in Christ. There is hope on the other end of this line. I'm going to put the number up one more time. Uh, just if you know anybody or if you are struggling, please reach out to this number. If you feel like you don't want to talk to a stranger, maybe you want to talk to a pastor, uh, you can call me. Uh, you can call me here at the church. You can call me on my cell phone. Um, I would love to talk to you uh, because uh, your life matters. Uh, and, and I love you. And I know that Kathy does too. Yeah. So blessings upon y'all. And again, if you need help or know somebody who does, please reach out. We'll see you soon.